Great idea, talking about uh, Catholics. Catholics doing business with Catholics. Right. And, you know, it's I like doing business with friends. This is a family business, a family orient, oriented business, and we have a lot of, uh, uh, and we're running out of time, so sorry about that. We probably crammed too much in here, but I've got, uh, I've got three outstanding realtors that are all Catholic here. I've got Let's bring in uh, Donna Campbell, because anybody who's holding a microphone, you know, your fair game, Donna Campbell, realtor <laughs> and parishioner at Good Shepherd uh, Parish. Uh, real estate uh, uh, realtor, right? So tell us a little bit about yourself, your business, and uh, the, the, the Catholic angle, I guess, so to speak, of your business. And thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for this opportunity. So I'm Donna Campbell. I'm with the Crony team of Remax Trinity, and I'm fairly new in the real estate business. Just started earlier this year, but uh, it's been a passion of mine to pursue for some time. And the door opened with a fellow Catholic parishioner, Nancy Crony who um, owns, oversees the team, and I've been working with her and two other women um, for uh, since April, and combined we have 55 years of real estate experience between us, so I'm part of an awesome team where we can just um, share any questions and uh, get information from each other and just work together. But um, since I've been in the business, Bob Duane kindly introduced um, some clients to me and uh, we got started hitting the pavement back in May and um, been very happy with working with Keith and, and Jody Taylor and some other parishioners since then just uh, and Joshua Bidding as well and his family as they moved here to uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area from Wichita, Kansas. So it's just been an awesome experience. When I have any lender-related questions, I can go to Sean McGowey. He's helped me with um, some financing options for my uh, buyers, which has been awesome. When a lender that they've chosen wasn't able to fulfill their needs, Sean's been able to step in with lots of options. So, so it's, it's neat, awesome. uh, yeah, working with Catholics, and uh, and of course at the parish, people realize you're a Catholic, and uh, as Greg said, might as well, if you're gonna, you know, you, if you need somebody, might as well use the uh, the, the, the Catholic lady or guy at the parish or somebody that you hear on the radio, 